trucks so bold, so innovative, they nearly shifted the future of driving, but vanished before hitting the streets. From sci-fi designs and engines roaring with power to beach adventures and futuristic tech, these are the secret trucks that time almost forgot. 1963, Studebaker Westinghouse pickup truck concept. This truck was a glimpse into what could have been one of the last hurrahs for Studebaker before they shut down. Imagine a truck that's as straightforward as it gets. No frills, just pure utility and simplicity. That's what Studebaker was aiming for with this concept. Let me break it down for you. First off, the design and purpose. Studebaker was all about keeping it real with this truck. They grabbed parts off the shelf to keep it as uncomplicated and affordable as possible. The body? It's like they went, curves? Who needs them? And went for a design so simple you could stamp it out without breaking a sweat. The real game changer was its cab over engine layout. Picture this. The cab sitting right over the engine, giving you a truck with a bed that's a whopping eight feet long, but still compact enough to zip around town making deliveries. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Now, to make sure this truck wasn't just a big metal box on wheels, they threw in some corrugated sections for that extra oomph in rigidity. And because they knew you'd be getting up close and personal with those tight city corners, they gave the windshield a serious lean forward. This wasn't just for looks. It meant you could see every nook and cranny you were navigating around. Under the hood, or should I say under the cab, was the same 289 cubic inch engine powering other Studebaker legends, paired with a three-speed automatic transmission that had a nifty manual hold feature they called Power Shift. It was like having the brawn when you needed it with a touch of finesse. As for the numbers, this concept was pretty compact for a truck with such a big bed. It stretched out to 168 inches long, was 72 inches wide, and stood tall at 78 inches, all while riding on a 95-inch wheelbase. But here's where the story takes a turn. Just when we started to get our hopes up about seeing this practical beast on the streets, Studebaker decided to close its South Bend complex in December 1963. And just like that, the dream of the Studebaker Westinghouse pickup was parked in the what-could-have-been garage. 1990 GMC Transcend Imagine a pickup truck that looks like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie and you're pretty much there. This wasn't just any truck. It was a concept that turned heads at the 1990 auto show, thanks to its standout raspberry over magenta paint job. But what really set it apart was its design. The folks at GMC decided to blend the cab and bed into one seamless piece, giving it a sleek, unified look that was anything but ordinary. And to top it off, it featured a cool tech twist, a remote-controlled retractable hardtop roof. Inside, this truck was just as striking. It had a two-seat cockpit decked out in raspberry and black, with a mix of leather and cloth that added to its futuristic vibe. Underneath, the Transcend was built on the robust foundation of the GMC Sierra full-size truck chassis, promising strength and durability. Although we don't have all the nitty-gritty details on its specs, the 1990 GMC Transcend remains a fascinating snapshot of automotive experimentation. It's a piece of history that showcases just how bold and innovative car design can get. 1991 Isuzu Como An unusual vehicle that turned heads at the Tokyo Motor Show and left a lasting impression. Picture this. A car designed by Simon Cox, the creative mind who later brought us the jaw-dropping Cadillac Sian. Now Simon had this vision to blend Formula One thrills with the serene beauty of Italy's Lake Como, and thus, the Como was born. Isuzu really went all out with this one, aiming to push the boundaries of what was possible. Now, believe it or not, Como was actually a pickup truck, and it was also known as Como F1 Super Truck. But with a twist, a 740 horsepower 3.5 liter V12 engine, the same one you'd find roaring under the hood of a Formula One Lotus car. This beast of an engine was placed right behind the cabin, not the usual spot, shifting the weight distribution to perfection, but, admittedly, eating into the cargo space. 
But who's looking for cargo space in a vehicle that's a stone's throw from a Lamborghini, complete with massive wheels and doors that lift up? Now, getting into the nitty-gritty, it was a rear-wheel drive layout which, coupled with its F1 inspiration and the elegance of Lake Como, made it quite the spectacle. However, as expected, the Como F1 super truck was never going to hit the production line. Isuzu knew they were crafting a legend more suited for the halls of what if than the roads of reality, eventually shifting their focus back to commercial vehicles and SUVs. Even though the Como never made it to the streets, its legacy lives on, inspiring a generation of dreamers and creators in the automotive world. Let's not forget, the Como showed us that sometimes it's not about the destination or practicality. It's about the journey and the dreams we dare to dream. Citroen decides to drop not one, not two, but three concept versions of their new Berlingo. And there among them shines the Coupe de Plage, a car that not only nods to the past with its Citroen Mehari vibes, but also looks to the future with a design straight out of a leisurely dream, all thanks to the styling genius of Bertone and some inspiration from the ZX Rally Raid. Now, imagine a car that's all about kicking back, enjoying the sun, and maybe a little adventure on the side. That's the Coupe de Plage for you. It shares some looks with the Peugeot partner, but it's got its own thing going on with those narrow headlights and that friendly grille, making it the perfect buddy for a beach day. But here's where it gets even cooler. The back of the car is basically a flat platform ready for whatever you need, gear, groceries, or even a makeshift bed if you're into stargazing. And with sliding doors on one or both sides, packing and unpacking is a breeze. The inside? Spacious enough to fit your whole crew comfortably, with tall seats and a cabin that feels open and airy, thanks to those big windows that let you see everything around you. And the seats? You can move them around or take them out to fit whatever you're hauling. Under the hood, it's powered by a 1.8-liter engine from the Xantia, giving you 103 horsepower to play with and a top speed that hits around 100 miles per hour. Size-wise, it's perfectly proportioned for adventure, with enough room in the back to store 23.4 cubic feet of whatever you need. 1998 Dodge Big Red Truck Concept This beast was Dodge's playground for blending hardcore toughness with the latest tech, basically giving truck lovers and tech enthusiasts something to drool over. First off, the heart of this beast was its groundbreaking Cummins 24-valve turbo diesel engine. This wasn't just any engine. It was a glimpse into the future, sporting an electronic fuel system for a smoother and quieter ride, packed into an inline six-cylinder powerhouse. With 460 pound-feet of torque ready to rumble at just 1,400 revolutions per minute and holding strong up to 2,700 revolutions per minute, plus 235 horsepower at the same peak, this truck was a towing and hauling champ. And yes, it came with a five-speed manual transmission, because what's a powerful truck without a bit of old-school charm? But Dodge didn't just stop under the hood. They went all out on the interior, too, expanding the cab for more room and packing it with comforts like mist-gray leather seats front and back, a pass-through rear for easy access minus the usual console block, and for those long rides, a 6-inch LCD TV, VCR, and rear audio controls with headphones. Oh, and they didn't forget the cup holders because priorities, right? Now let's talk looks. This concept was dressed to impress in Dodge Flame Red, sporting a modified grill that made a statement, twin hood bulges hiding cold air intakes, and an aerodynamic raised roofline with an integrated light bar for that extra touch of style. The exterior was as practical as it was stylish, featuring dual side exit exhausts, cab and cargo box steps that clean themselves, because why not? A fifth wheel hitch for serious towing and raised cargo box rails for easy tie downs and handling. This big red truck was an experimental concept. It was Dodge's vision of the future, constantly evolving and possibly changing specs since its debut. So, while we dive into the details, just remember this was Dodge dreaming big and bold. In essence, the 1998 Dodge Big Red Truck concept was more than just a concept. 
It was a statement on where Dodge saw the future of powerful, comfortable, and tech-forward trucks heading.